Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Total War Rome 2 Divided Impera number 10 campaign here where we in the last episode took uh, Seleucia up here and I sadly forgot to record a whole episode which means that I have to record a bit more now but the problem is this is my birthday and I don't really want to spend too much time on this so this will only be a half an hour video instead of the normal one hour video or at least where I record footage for an hour and then just short it down to whatever is necessary. So instead it's only half an hour today, which will be shorted down to something a bit less. Which is mostly the only the relevant part, but yeah. So in that video which actually got corrupted, we took Charax as well as Score down here. And we are at war with uh, these guys now because they declared war on us as well. And Parthava has been destroyed, basically. They are only a wandering horde. While there's a big problem up here as well, where Dura is almost barely alive. And Palmyra lost two towns over here in Edessa, as well as Hatra. So we do have a small problem in there, but Egypt has joined the war against Arch Bosporus, so they are gonna at least hold them off. And we also do have an army right here, ready to deal with the Parthians, if they do decide to go for our territory. Which they might very well do, because they do have two armies right here. And, but we do have Masut down here, our Shah, ready to defend with his mighty army. So hopefully we're gonna stay alive down there. Region-wise, all our regions are quite happy, except for Mesopotamia, who is now being protected by the army inside the town. As well as Parsa, which is the new region we just took. They are, of course, also unhappy. And we're gonna stay in Gaul, because these armies over here might well, very, very well come for us. As well as these armies up here can move very far. They can even reach Parsa right now, so we don't even want to attack that. But what we do need right now is probably to upgrade a few things, such as this building right here, Eastern Polar Pitch. We can't, we could upgrade that, but we will actually get this tech here next turn, which means that we can now upgrade this one. And I really want to build that, so in order for us to do that, we need to keep the gold. So we'll have to save everything this turn here. And just move on. Oh wow, these earn turn timers take so long. Well, crush the riot. I've seen that one too many times. And the research is now over. Saba artifacts. Great Lord, artifacts from Saba have arrived, offering the services for a fee. They claim to have found a faster and cheaper way to dig canals, dams, and other such irrigation uh, systems. This could ha ha eh, I can't speak right now. This could hasten our agricultural development. Will you make use of their services? Well, if if it can improve our spice and trade, of course. Sure. Increase in rank, yeah, good, good, good. Let's build this spice building over here in Petra. There we go. This is very important. This will give us even more spice to trade with, which is really good. And I've just seen that they have now moved into our territory. So good we are in the town. Because they might come for us at any moment. This is actually quite bad, to be honest. I think we might need a spy down here now. They're sending over a new army as well. Where did all the armies go? I can only see one. Weird. And where are they going? Maybe can we lure them out to the field? I don't know. I don't want to risk it right now, actually. And as well, we should also turn off taxes in this region here to make them a bit more happy. But we can actually still upgrade this building here, so let's do that as well. And for research again, we should now figure out what to get. We could get this building here, where we will get these Zyafin uh, units here, but we need a new reform to get that, so that's probably a no. We could also go for this one, which will increase the 
the way uh, which will allow us to upgrade the towns even further. But I don't really think that's a good idea either. We should probably go for irrigation farms thing right there, this one. So we can get more food. But I would imagine crop rotation is more important so we can get more food into our regions. And I just have a question here. Should we attack this army? Oh, I got... I accidentally hit the button. And how is the garrison here actually? It's very weak. Well, my sir, you do have the ability to do night battles. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to attack them right now. Uh, should we do that? If we do that, we can actually go for pasta as well. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get a battle in this episode, so we can actually have some fun here. I mean, this could be a tough battle, but... Do the AI play smart? They'd probably do this time, but uh, hopefully they won't. Let's make a quick save and then fight this battle. Hopefully this is gonna be amazing. Okay, let's start deploying here, and I think we're gonna have these Arabian guys on the flanks and just basically have our strongest guys in the center like this. Then we're gonna have our archers in the center as well, and our arch, not our archers, and our Hiltas men in behind them. And... Why can't I do this? Oh my god, I hate this game sometimes. For some reason I've had this problem where I can't really drag out my units that well. And I think I'm gonna keep these guys a bit further back so they can actually protect our guys. We need the swordsmen in behind in case they actually do flank around. A general can be in the center and our cavalry or camels can just sit right there. This will be our formation. Hopefully we don't need to be too aggressive here and just let them attack us. So they can run straight into these guys here. Our new units who look so cool. Okay, there they are, there they are, and they are storming out towards us, so maybe just uh, fall back a tiny bit, just to here. This would probably be better, this way we can all get information quickly, because they have a lot of skirmishes, it seems like. So you guys can probably start turning a bit, just in case they try something foolish. And they're just standing there, waiting for us. So maybe we should push forward just a tiny bit more. To be honest, this is looking kind of intimidating. This giant line here, and we're just crumbled up like this. I kind of feel like I'm Cassius. Come on, we are so close now, and you still don't want to charge out like you used to do. Okay, here they go, here they go. So stop right there. Come on, quickly, guys. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get into position. Archers, shoot, 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 shoot. You guys. Form your defensive line here, your phalanx. Guys, this is gonna be a massacre, I feel like. Hopefully, they're just gonna charge in like this. Good, good, good. Do this all the time. As long as you don't push through. Archers, you can just fire at will. Hopefully, you can take them out. They are losing quite a few men by that charge. But this is where it's gonna hurt. These guys here. The heavy units. And they are about to charge in on this side here now as well. This is not good. This is not good. General, we might need you out here. You guys should form up again. And here we go, another charge here from another big unit. General, get in there. Actually, just get out first and then do a charge. Please just don't say they're targeting you. If you die, it would be detrimental to our forces here. 
Our skirmishers are doing a great job, actually, taking out a lot of cavalry units. Which is good. These guys have lost a lot of men. These guys, too. Maybe we can hunt some of them down. Oh, actually, just wait for now. Wait for now. Just fall back. And I think we need some more skirmishers out here. Because they do have a lot of men over there. Okay, General, get in here. It seems like this might actually be the General, or at least a very important unit. But here we go. Charge in, charge in, charge in. And the numbers are lowering quite fast, actually. You guys help over here. You guys might actually need to reinforce over there. This is a bad position. You guys, can you just target all of them? Shoot there. These guys are wearing. General, get out. Charge, charge, charge. You guys can help as well. I just spit right there. <laughs> you guys fall back. You guys sit right there. You help. General, are you alright? Come on, help over here now. Okay, they have started pushing down here, so you guys can just turn a bit. You two guys can turn to face this direction. You can help over here. You guys fight here. Our general should be saved. We can't allow him to die. Let's just get out of combat for now and make him do another charge. Come on, guys. The battle is turning in our favor, so that's good. That's good. You guys can just fire wherever you want. No more of this uh, concentrated fire. Come on. New charge, new charge. Come on, please. You guys, you have, you're out of ammunition, so stand right there. You guys can run them down. And they're down to 30 men now. Good, good, good. Our general is doing a great job. These guys are almost gone as well. They are gone now, actually. Good. We have what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units left. 9. Okay, so there's still a few units left, but they are gonna rout at some point. Or need to go into combat, because they can't have endless ammunition. There we go, they're gone now as well. General, fall back. You two guys, fall back to the main force as well. You get back too. You two guys are too far gone. Stay out there. Camels, you can get up here and actually start helping with these guys. Just take out a few. You can sit right there. You can go over to this side. You can go over here. And that's the end of all our archers and slingers as well. They did a great job. Okay, the last few guys are actually just archer ho horse archers, so... All we need to do now is wait until they actually try to engage us like this. And then we can swoop in and take them out. I don't know where he's going. Probably it's trying to charge into our units. Which would be amazing, but... Maybe it's not actually. There we go. Come on. Take them out, take them out, take them out. Oh, they had a great charge. That's too bad. But it's these guys, they can deal with them. You guys can help over here. You guys help over here now. General. You can start flanking around just to rear charges. Camels, you have no more ammo. You horses here can charge after those guys. Come on, get out there, get out there.
I mean, this battle would have been a lot harder if it actually was fought by a person, because a real person would just wouldn't just charge straight into pikemen or, or spearmen at least. That's just foolish. But I'm happy. These guys are trying to escape. We'll allow them to. You can run back. Stick together, guys. These guys are trying to escape as well. Just to hunt them down, guys. And this battle is basically over, so I'll see you back on the campaign map again. There we go, a close victory! We lost a lot of men, actually, to be honest, but... It's worthwhile in the long run. We will kill the captives, and now we can actually take Susa. Or thought that we would be able to, but uh, apparently not. And this might be a problem, because we could potentially be hunted down now. But in that case, we will increase our defenses here. Because... Their cavalry do a very bad job against pikes. So that's good. Or spikes. With this done, and hopefully them not charging out towards our town gore, we can go for Parser, because I believe the garrison is quite weak. Yeah, it's not fully replenished, but it's not weak either. So let's go for it. And hopefully take it. They can just take it in one go here. There we go. And now this town is ours as well. Thank the lord for that. We're gonna occupy the town, and now we control this whole region as well, and that's the army. Oh god, <laughs> we are so dead over here. Uh, Masut, uh, maybe you need a new army or new general over here, so... Abdul, would you like the job? Or... Yatra? Or Husam? Oh, that's the new guy. Let's put you in charge of this army here for now. Give him your, give you some new cavalry units. And Masood, he will travel home. Oh, we are so dead over there. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, we'll get, become a better proven leader and a threat commander. So Abdul, you are really strong in combat. And you can get a lot of new cavalry units here, I think. Yeah, it's because, it's because of this unit here. We don't need this one. Or this one. For that matter. But we're gonna get a rebellion anyway. Uh, maybe we should start mustering a new army over here. Or maybe just send this guy here down. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. <laughs> send this guy down. So we can start for building a new army so we can actually take on these guys. The problem is that the, the population is just so bad here. It won't be enough. We'll have to go for these foreigners here. Who aren't that strong, but it's what we can get right now. So if we can get it, we're gonna take it. Yeah, as expected, they attack our army. Let's try to retreat so we can actually save our faces there and we luckily survived that somehow but that also means that they won't attack Parsa which means that that army can replenish a lot more and become stronger so that's good hidden agent exposed returned home Masut it wasn't even needed we have a rebellion at Parsa new political appointment okay Isham new royal rival Nobility of birth and proper upbringing have set this man on the proper course towards a prominent role in the life of our great kingdom. While he has his supporters among the ruling elite and commoners alike, he must step forward out of the shadow of his predecessors. Now his own future will be made by his actions rather than his lineage. And we have gained a new important character. Isham, can we adopt you? Yeah, we probably can. Uh, adopt Hisham, there we go. You won't become the heir, 
that Gaishmu, who is 10 years old. But what we can do actually is embezzle funds. So let's do that right now. And we can keep on doing that because they are still quite happy with us. So let's do it one more time. And we have basically spent a lot of our gravitas, but it's fine as well because we would like to lower it just a bit. So our regions can be a bit more happy again. And we have a rebellion down here, which is fine. And you told me in the last regions, one of you at least did, that... I think it was Cataphrag, maybe. Oh wait, let, let me check. Let me check for a moment here. Yeah, it was you, Cataphrag. And you told me that I should let these rebellions just sit for one to two turns. I mean, I have heard about it before and I know it will uh, make the public order better, but actually... I've always been against it just a tiny bit because because they do hurt the region. But right now we aren't actually attacking this region, so for now it's going to be fine. We're going to let this rebellion sit for one to two turns, and we actually didn't take any replenishment. That's bad. That's really bad. But yeah, we're going to let this army sit and just make them stronger just for a moment. And we are also going to upgrade this built and also so we can make our own region or our own religion the important one in this region and as well build the Wainther the windyard down here and for this army right here are we able to deal with that I mean we are actually so let's see here can we do something cheeky here you can besiege Susa like that and then he can go for the army and they will withdraw and now we can take Susa without even fighting it there we go protective stance and down they go Susa is now ours nice there we go and now we control this region actually, and we can enact a new edict. Here it should probably be like bread and games. And should we turn on Texas again? We should. Oh wow, the food is bad here. Why is it so bad? Oh yeah, it's probably because they are raiding. And these guys, they aren't actually able to go for Cherex. That's just because of this army here. They're standing in the way, but they can't just destroy them. So that's bad. But let's send our spy up here, just taking a look at Raga. Keeping an eye on this region and make sure that they don't run down and deal with that. But actually, this is sadly where we have to leave off in this episode. So I would like to say thank you so very much for watching. And until next time, everybody. Goodbye and spread happiness.